Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Mark chapter 7, beginning at verse 24 and ending at verse 37. This is the Amplified Version. The Syrophoenician Woman Jesus got up and left there and went to the region of Tyre and Sidon, the coastal area of Phoenicia. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know about it, but it was impossible for him to be hidden from the public. Instead, after hearing about him, a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit immediately came and fell at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile Greek, a Syrophoenician by nationality, and she kept pleading with him to drive the demon out of her daughter. He was saying to her, First, let the children of Israel be fed, for it is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the pet dogs, non-Jews. But she replied, Yes, Lord, but even the pet dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. And he said to her, Because of this answer, reflecting your humility and faith, Go, knowing that your request is granted. The demon has left your daughter permanently, and returning to her home, she found the child lying on the couch, relaxed and resting, the demon having gone. Soon after this, Jesus left the region of Tyre and passed through Sidon to the Sea of Galilee, through the region of Decapolis, the ten Hellenistic cities. They brought to him a man who was deaf and had difficulty speaking and they begged Jesus to place his hand on him. Jesus, taking him aside by himself, away from the crowd, put his fingers into the man's ears, and after spitting, he touched the man's tongue with the saliva, and looking up to heaven, he sighed deeply and said to the man, Ephathapha, which in Aramaic means, be opened and released. And his ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he began speaking plainly. Jesus commanded them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them, the more widely they continued to proclaim it. They were thoroughly astounded and completely overwhelmed, saying, He has done everything well. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.